Everyone, you know, you, <clears throat> if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of the Volcano Taco guys. And they, I haven't been getting it that much because I'm saving up for this laptop, but uh, we're going to watch this a Volcano Taco review by Review Bra because Review Bra is pretty awesome. And yeah, we like the Volcano Taco guys, so. Check out this Volcano menu review, guys, by Review Bar. They only added two items, but let's react to it, guys. This is Running On Empty Food <laughs> Review. <laughs> I like how he always says that, man. Uh, all right, let's get into it. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and... I actually did a live review of the Volcano Taco. It's on my, uh, main channel, guys. And everyone watching, welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running on Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. He's been... <coughs> excuse me. He's been doing this for ten plus years. A double review is in the works right now. What's a double review? This is probably one of the most hyped up releases Oh, for sure, for sure, man. They they just discontinued it for 10 years. From Taco Bell in a long time. They announced this all the way back in January, and they've finally done it. For the third time since the 1990s, Taco Bell's Volcano Menu... Well, only three times in, like, 20 years, man. 30 years. You... Guys, they're probably gonna discontinue it, man. And I'm very gonna be very depressed. ...is back. It's back. It'll be here for a limited time. Ah, uh, limited time, man. Shaking my head, bro. It's probably one of the most favorite items on there. I have gotten the two... Why couldn't they be like Chipotle, man? I could just kept it on there, guys. You know what I mean? New Volcano Menu items that they've released, and I'm going to try them both. The Volcano Menu is available right now for uh, Taco Bell Rewards members, so if you use the Taco <laughs> Bell app, you can get it early, however, start- Yeah, it was, it was only available for rewards members for like the first few days. Starting on June 29th, first few days. anyone can get it. And then you could just go to Taco Bell, you could go put in a delivery order, you could go into the store, go to the drive-thru, and uh, get these items as well. There's a lot of demand, there's a lot of interest, and uh, I just want to try out these two items, see how they are, take it from there. So this is going to be a pretty quick, straightforward review. Uh, because again, otherwise I'll be here for about 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes? I would, I would see a 45 minute Volcano Taco review for sure. So, they have a Volcano Taco and a Volcano Burrito. Now obviously, <laughs> given the name of everything, spice is the emphasis here. And these are supposed to be very spicy items. In the past, they were very well received. And uh, that's why, of course, there's so much hype surrounding this. So, first and foremost, we have the Volcano Taco. It's available at the price of $2.49. It is a hard shell taco. Comes with seasoned beef, cheese, lettuce, and lava sauce. Yay! Lava sauce is the only thing that makes it good, guys. Actually, I think they altered the uh, red shell taste a little, though. But yeah, you can get that on the side. I forgot to order it on the side when I got my lava sauce. I also got the Volcano Burrito, available at the price of $4. With that, you can get- I, didn't, I haven't tried the Volcano Burrito yet, though, guys. Get beef, rice, cheese, fiesta strips, sour cream, and lava sauce. I think, as you could obviously see, the big emphasis here is the lava sauce. So, uh, we're gonna see how hot this is, how spicy it is, how good it is. I was able to get this somewhat early, had to go over to the Taco Bell to get it, and um, despite all the hype, this was a pretty new Taco Bell, it opened just a couple years ago. Uh, even four years back, there used to be a line wrapped around the building. And yeah, it's because they increased the price on stuff, man. Or maybe it was because it was a new restaurant, who knows. And uh, there's no one there, it's like a ghost town. Sheesh. And when I, I got the food, uh, it didn't smell all that good it still doesn't and uh, i know people might be saying how dare you say that about taco bell but it is what it is i'm just going to describe 
Yeah, I don't shop there that much in either, man. A bit, uh, as I see it, just because it smells a certain way doesn't mean, of course, that it's a bad item. It may not be the case at all. Um, but that's a... Never a good sign when your food doesn't smell good. But hey, occasionally food will smell bad all the time, you know what I mean? Something to be aware of. Like before you cook some meat or something, it'll smell pretty bad, right guys? And, uh, obviously, Taco Bell, you know, the in-person interest that you see just isn't what it used to be. But that doesn't mean that they can't have a good product, and again, uh, there still is a lot of excitement for this new... Everybody went to Chipotle, man. ...release. Okay. So starting out with the Volcano Taco, has a red shell, and uh, you can see it's a hard shell taco. There's the seasoned beef. Uh, that's the sauce right there, that kind of, not, looks like a yellowish orange. Then you can see the cheese and the lettuce. Hey man, wish I got more of these. Guys, I got like, I ordered $16 of Taco Bell when it came out, man. So there's again a good look at it, a very eye-catching shell. I'm going to try this out first, let you know what it tastes like, then I'll go into the burrito, try that out. They've never released, like, a blue shell, a green shell, nothing like that, guys. Just red shells. I'll be giving two separate ra ratings, because this will be two reviews in one. So, trying out the Volcano Taco from Taco Bell, it's going in. Alright. Alright. Volcano Taco. Generally, as far as the quality of the taco is concerned, it's your basic Taco Bell quality. Uh, obviously, the main... When is it not? You know what I mean? When is it not? ...ingredient here that's different from everything else is the sauce, the lava sauce. So as far as the seasoned beef, the cheese, and the lettuce, all that is about uh, what you would expect from Taco Bell. Fast food quality, um, but the beef is actually pretty flavorful, despite any sort of smell that... Uh, Perhaps the order initially had, uh, the taste does not reflect that. And that's good. That's exactly what you would hope to see. The lettuce is actually a little better, a little better than I thought it was going to be as well. So that's good news too. Uh, the lettuce isn't soggy. It seemed pretty fresh, crisp. The cheese is basic. So as far as like this being a hard shell taco from Taco Bell, Standard quality. Yeah, it's not going to be gourmet restaurant quality, uh, but it's good enough for what it is. Totally acceptable. All right, all right. Hey, likes it so far? The lava sauce, here's the interest. There we go, here we go about the lava sauce. Let's go, let's go. Thing thing. And uh, then I'll just try out the burrito and see if this is similar. The thing about this lava sauce, which is pretty cool to me, when I bit into it, I could kind of taste it, right? And I think we've all had certain spicy food. To me, guys, it, it tastes the same as it has uh, like 10 years ago. I do remember the taste, guys. Foods, so I think we know these sorts of things. I missed it for so long. You know those sorts of spices and sauces where you take a bite and the spice is not immediately noticeable. And it's like you're kind of waiting for it and it's like, all right, when, when is it actually going to kick in? Is it actually that spicy? I'm not really tasting it, etc. And then, after like a delay of maybe 20 to 30 seconds, then it hits. Oh snap, it, it creeps up on you, the taste. That precisely is how this sauce is. I Guys, eating spice it's summer right now, and eating spicy food is pretty painful because it like heats my whole room up, my whole body up. Can't even uh, tolerate it not that much no more, guys. I took those bites. I was waiting because I know during the summer, but during the winter, it keeps me warm. Keeps me warm during the winter. So people have said, yeah, that lava sauce is supposed to be really, really spicy. I was sitting here. I was waiting for it. I was like, all right, I'm not really tasting it. It doesn't seem uh, like it's all that hot. What's really going on here? Then, 20 seconds in, it hits. That's not to say that this is the hottest sauce I've ever had, far from it, but I will say, as far as Taco Bell is concerned, this is definitely one of their spiciest sauces. Uh, that is obvious to me. 
Where the spice is strong, it's potent, it hits with a slight delay, and it lingers mostly in the back of my mouth, uh, similar to an item, I think I tried out these spicy nuggets from Burger King in a previous review, and if you remember that, if you watched that video, similar to that, I mentioned that the spice will kind of start in the back of the mouth, and then gradually work. I can't describe it like him though, guys. He describes it pretty well. Uh, which is good for me, guys. My review is only like five minutes with the audio messed up during the review. Let me turn off my fan. ...work its way forward. And that's exactly what's happening here. Where uh, the spice, again, first materializes way in the back of my tongue, and then it kind of works its way forward. Uh, it especially lingers on as a very spicy aftertaste. So with every word that I enunciate, you know, I'm kind of... It's a certain level of heat, guys. Uh, ...exhaling, and the uh, spice is... Kind of like they put your head in an oven at, at the start, is what it feels like for me. ...coming back up a bit, but uh, it's definitely lingering on, and even those sips of the Baja Blast that I took uh, did not quell the spice. I know, right? You know, it's a, s a cold uh, drink. It doesn't really quell the spice unless it's... I heard peanut butter works the best for that. So... It's definitely a spicy item, uh, even though it's not really materializing, it's like I could feel uh, my nose is starting to get a little bit runny, so it is manifesting a sort of physical reaction, and... Yeah, I get the same thing happening to me. The, the powerful nature of this spice eventually starts outweighing all the other ingredients of this taco, so when you first go in, you're gonna first notice, okay, the beef and the lettuce and the cheese, etc., uh, the texture, right, the hard shell, but then that sauce hits you, and as soon as it does, that dominates the rest of the item, and that- It makes it for a good mix, a m good mix of flavors, I think. That eventually is all that you could really taste, so it's not the spiciest sauce in the world, but I should mention it's definitely potent, definitely does have good spice to it, it's long-lasting, and if you are more sensitive to spice, uh, then you will really feel this, and um, make sure you have a, a nice, cool drink to go along with this, because you will need it. But overall, uh, yeah, the whole novelty here is the lava sauce, and I am pleased to say the lava sauce did not disappoint. Yay! $2.49 for this limited- Two seventy nine where I live, guys. ...limited time item. Price is good enough, all things considered, that it's a special sauce, limited time, it's back after so long, so, uh, I'd say it met expectations, quality is fine. I just wish they would keep it around, man. I wish they'd keep the item around. And again, the sauce definitely packs a punch. Out of ten, therefore, I'm going to give the Volcano Taco an eight- out of 10. Very happy with the quality, and I think they did a good job with all the spice. All right, and next, and I'm sorry for that little cut right there, because I just wanted to get the other item organized, and what I also wanted to do, most importantly, and I thought just may as well do it then, I wanted to cut the burrito in half, just so you could get the adequate cross-section, of course, because, as you'll see, this burrito, it looks, you know, just like a regular burrito. Yeah, but the, the, the red strips are probably all soggy. The, the burritos with the chips in them are always best eaten fresh, I think. ...on the exterior. So, the Volcano Burrito. It's available again for the price of $4. Has the beef, fiesta strips... I did not try this one. ...rice, sour cream, cheese, and the lava sauce. So I cut it in half. Right there. Yeah, I mean, they're all soggy, guys. They're barely solid at that point. And that's what it looks like. So you but I, I would still eat that. You could definitely... Burritos can be enjoyed as leftovers, man. You see. Even tacos. See? Uh, a lot of the rice in there. Some of the beef as well. Um, the white is the sour cream. And uh, again, that sort of orange-yellow hue that it has to it. Uh, that's a lot of the volcano or the lava sauce. My apologies mixed in there. So that's what it looks like as far as the cross-section is concerned. Like a mayonnaise base kind of sauce, I think. 
And uh, you can see why it took a moment to do it, because from the outside, it looks like an indistinguishable uh, burrito. And I also... Yeah, that's the Taco Bell burrito for sure, guys. ...so think that, you know, once it's cut in half, you could just get a better profile of it. I think it could taste more, etc. So, hope that makes sense. That's why I kind of did that sort of... went with that sort of methodology, perhaps. All right. The Volcano Taco packed a punch. I could really taste that long-lived spice. What I essentially want to do now, because we already know at this point what the lava sauce tastes like, is just, does this taste good, and if it is as spicy. So that's what I'm going to discern now. The Volcano Burrito. Volcano Burritos are for the win, guys. From Taco Bell. Going in. Quality-wise, I would say they put all the right uh, ingredients in there that I like, guys. It's very similar to the taco to the extent that the quality of it is exactly what you would expect from Taco Bell. You know what I mean? All the same ingredients. <laughs> so again, the beef is good enough. It's flavorful. The ingredients seem fresh enough. The um, sour cream is the one thing I can't really taste all that much of. It's like, I can identify it, I can see it, but I can't really taste it. The rice, as you could probably see, I would say that there's more rice... In it definitely looked like there's more rice than anything else there, guys. ...in this burrito than there is anything else. There is definitely more meat in the taco, uh, so despite... It's supposed to be a double serving of beef, and they kind of messed up, it looks like. I don't know. Despite this burrito being a bit bigger, it's filled more with just various filler, uh, as opposed to the meat. This is on the cheesier side. That is one thing that I definitely noticed as I was eating this. Uh, I could definitely taste the cheese sauce that's in it uh, way more, so it's much cheesier. I didn't know they had cheese sauce. I thought it was just sour cream and the volcano sauce. ...than the taco, so it's like... That might not be a huge deal to some, but obviously if you really like all things cheesy, then I would say the burrito would probably be better for you in that regard. Now, as far as the lava sauce is concerned, here's the interesting thing. To me, and I can only speak from my experience here having tried now the taco and this burrito, but to me, the taco seems to be spicier than the burrito. Uh, I think maybe it has to do with the fact that on the taco, the sauce was more yeah, that's why I didn't go for the taco- or the burritos, guys. <clears throat> Tacos are for the win. More concentrated. Looks like you didn't get the sauce on the side, though, guys. Which, uh, you know, hey, we're going there for the sauce. That's what I'm going there for. And there were less ingredients for the sauce to have to compete against, so to speak. It's like... <laughs> that sauce is definitely there in the burrito. I could definitely notice it. It has all the same characteristics that the sauce exhibited in the Volcano Taco, but it just doesn't seem anywhere near as strong, and by that I mean anywhere near as perhaps concentrated. So that's what I really notice here, is that the lava sauce, it has the delayed reaction, it has that spicy aftertaste, but it's maybe only like half as spicy if even, as the Volcano Taco itself was. Nice, nice. And I think, again, it's just maybe there's just more uh, competing ingredients in the burrito. So, that's the only thing that I really notice here that's just a bit different to me. Don't... Yeah, go... Burritos overexpensive over compared to the taco, man. A taco, taco all day for on this. Don't get me wrong, it's still... Uh, I thought they came out with a new breezy. They usually do with every single experience, but I don't think they did this one. I don't know. It's spicy, but it's just not to the level that the taco itself was. I would say, given that it's Taco Bell and you know how much variability there really is with these sorts of items, I would say... I'm just thinking. My experience might just be a bit of an outlier, where it's like, 
there might be more sauce, because I just don't want to, I don't want to say, order the burrito with extra sauce. Just get it on the side, it's one dollar. When it might be too much. But just know from my experience, the, the taco itself was way more spicy to me again than the burrito was. Or you could buy a giant pack of the lava sauce for like $30, I think. Oops. Bear that in mind. Burrito is cheesier, still some spice, not to the level that the taco itself was, though. Bear that in mind. Still good, though. Still tastes good, still packed. I wonder if you got like a bunch of more tacos. Probably not, right guys? I don't know. That's a punch. Four dollars is the price. Therefore, out of ten, I am going to be giving the Volcano Burrito a 7.2 out of ten. Good, but not as spicy. So, there you have it. I enjoyed the taco more than the burrito. Both are still good, and both are still producing a bit of a reaction with, like, the mucus and stuff. So I'm uh, the mucus. I'm sorry if my uh, delivery is a little weird. I just keep feeling like I have to clear my throat. Hey, I get that as well. I have, like, asthma. And all of that. But anyway, spicy, tastes good, and that's what matters most. Go with the taco, in my opinion. Burrito's still good, but if you really want that spice, make sure you get the taco. And as far as the burrito goes, just be aware the sauce may not be as potent. That's all that I have for you. Alright guys, that's all that I have as well. Thank you for watching. Very cool video. This was released a while back, but... Yeah. Uh, you know, I saw it on my recommended needed to uh, go over it, because I'm just a huge fan of the taco sauce. Probably will get it one more time before they get it removed, even though it's quite expensive. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, everyone.